the Texture Channel. Today we're going to teach you guys some uh, tips to, uh, to train your dog. Some tricks. Um, people are very smart and they learn tricks very easily. We didn't have to put any training in school. Um, my mom just had enough patience and she taught him um, all of the tricks. Um, so, yeah, today uh, we're going to show you guys that. So, our first tip is that you guys um, don't have any distractions when you are training your dog so that the dog doesn't get confused and he doesn't like get sidetracked from what you are trying to teach him and it's easy for you and easier for the dog to be able to listen to you. Um, our second uh, tip is only one person should be teaching your dog um, so that it's also easy for him to like focus on that one person and know that, oh, that person is teaching me the tricks so I have to listen to that person. Um, yeah. Um, our third uh, tip is to like train, like train your dog, like preferably early in the morning, um, so that that's because that's when your mind is like, clear and fresh, and every day they're learning to start their they're starting a new day. Um, and if you do it in the afternoon or something, they're probably just tired, or you know, they're just they're just too they don't want to do it. So that's why, because we, my mom, um, every time she came home from work um, early in the morning, Teddy, like she trained Teddy, and that's like we saw some improvement when we trained Teddy in the morning rather than in like the afternoon or during the day, because he wouldn't listen to us or during the day because he was too distracted. So now we're gonna show you guys some tricks that we taught Teddy and maybe some signs that. You guys could use to, you know, like, train, uh, train your dog to, to do these tricks. So, um, uh, make sure you guys have like treats or anything, like the dog's favorite treats, um, and yeah. So, I'm going to first show you guys how to do sit for Teddy. What do you say? Yeah. Oh, you heard it. Say, yeah. That, this is the sign for sit that we use for Teddy. Um, and he's lying down now, but it's okay. Um, that this is the sign that we use for sit for Teddy. Um, you guys, there's many other signs you can do, but we'll just pick this one. Uh, right now he's saying please, so we use this sign for please. So that's the sign for please. That's what we taught him. We just actually just randomly did this sign, and he just got along with it, and he's like, oh, it's clean. So you guys can also use this sign. Like, 